drums. So we are here at an undisclosed location. Uh, this looks like a hostage video, but no, uh, I'm fine. They're treating me very well. Blink, 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 blink. Uh, but got a win on the Everson uh, Griffin contract situation. Now, we, we knew that Everson was going to opt out of his contract, so this isn't necessarily breaking news, even though the media is sort of treating it like so. Uh, so last off season, you know, after uh, Everson Griffin uh, came through his personal issues in 2018, uh, they came to the negotiating table and at the 11th hour, he accepted a pay cut, but also uh, one of the provisions was that if he uh, eclipsed certain statistical plateaus, 57% of the snaps and over six sacks, which he easily did on both accounts, uh, he could opt out of his contract, avoid the last three years of his contract extension, and he used that uh, right uh, today. And it, I think that it, it's smart uh, on Everson's part um, because even though he wants to re remain here in Minnesota, I think the Vikings were probably going to avoid the rest of that contract anyway. It does free up $13 million in cap space, only has 800000 dead uh, against the cap this year. That's part of his prorated signing bonus. Uh, so I, I think it, it saves him from the Vikings cutting him, but also uh, it allows him to explore for agency as well, just in case uh, they're going to uh, hold on to him uh, at that uh, lower than market rate. So uh, he can explore. And uh, I think, frankly, he, he could and will have a, a decent market out there. Because remember, uh, Cameron Wake, I like was it, 36 years old, got $8 million a year. Uh, I think Everson uh, showed a lot bouncing back last season. Uh, still has some tread on the tires, so he could be looking uh, for $8, 9 $10 million a year somewhere in free agency. But also, uh, I think that he, he is the type of player that would take a, a slight hometown discount. He did it last year uh, to stay here uh, in Minnesota. Um, of course, different circumstances, but I, I think he is the, the heart and soul, the leader of this football team. I think the Vikings clearly want him back as well, uh, but hopefully the, the dollars just uh, all line up because even though the Vikings are dead last in the league in cap space, they're, uh, I, I think technically now they're, they're at zero because uh, they were like $13 million in the hole. Uh, uh, technically counting Everson Griffin, even though he was going to opt out. But uh, I think there, we'll find some middle ground. But it'll be interesting to see uh, free agent suitors that come out uh, for Everson Griffin in, in March. But you know, that is it. Skull, absolutely no production value.